Well, we're, in fact, Jim Ruggleman is getting ready to sit down downstairs to talk with the media about this tough loss in 13 innings. The final is 4-3. to three. We will go to him. In fact, we'll go to him right now. How do, you, how do you think your team played overall? I thought we played great baseball. Um, 12, 13 innings, whatever it was, uh, clean defensively. Willie and Willie played great right field. Um, you know, Nieves did a great job behind the plate. Desmond at short. Um, Gonzalez at third, the plays they were making. Um, I thought we played real good baseball. We got some timely hits. Niger, some big hits. And... Um, you know, pitching was good. It, it was pitching and defense game, and um, that, that's good baseball. You know, I, I wish we could have got the runs in, but, um, you know, that just didn't happen. Did you think Niger made a mistake by going to third and sixth? Well, I know, that, I know what Niger was thinking was that they had a play on, on Craig at home. You know, I think he felt that they, they were going to be able to throw Craig out. So... He felt he could get to third with, you know, with with them not getting him out. He would rather have them make a play on him than at home. Uh, I don't know if they could have got Craig or not. So, you know, it's it's if it was a mistake, it was a mistake of aggression. So we can live with that. And the play um, in the center um, on Martin's hit in the 13th. Did you think that Niger rusted the ball too much? A little no, much? no, that was just uh, that ball was smoked. You know. Uh, they got a good runner at second. Uh, the odds of us throwing somebody out from center field, throwing for Car for Carr out from center field, is going to be uh, pretty tough. So he he knew he had to come at it hard. And uh, if he lays back, he's going to be too deep to throw anybody out. So he 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 made the right play. The ball was hit so hard, it was hard to handle it. Playing at home in the thirteenth is that a uh, contact play, no matter what, right there? Or well, it's not necessarily no matter what, but. Um, it, w it was a good gamble, you know. Um, Blake made a good play, and um, if the throw is a – you know, he's almost safe as it was. If the throw is just a hair off, he is going to be safe. But uh, the uh, the point being, um, if he stays there, we're not – we're, we're not taking a chance to score the run, and we're still not in much of a different situation. Now we got, you know, he throws the guy out at first, so we're 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 standing at third with two outs, to, which is how the game ended anyway, with us two outs at third. So it, it was um, it was worth the gamble. If the ball had been hit hard to the corners, he was going to stay. The middle infield was playing halfway back, so Pudge was going to go there. But uh, you know, you get a little dribbler down the down the third baseline. It's kind of the in between one, and his instincts told him to go. Pudge had a chance to score on Niger's double the corner there. No, no, that uh, you know everybody wants you to send the runners all the time and all that, but that was a good decision by Pat. There was, uh, you know, they got the relay in and in, in uh, timely and um, uh, threw a strike into home. I think he'd have been out at home. Is this the kind of game that maybe shows how small a margin there is between you know winning and losing, especially for you guys? They're, like you're saying, all these good things you did today, and there's probably three or four little things that if they go one way or another, it changes the outcome. Yeah, and and you know, if the Dodgers had lost that game, they'd be feeling the same way. They they had some opportunities with man on third, less than two outs, that they didn't get the runs, and uh, um, you know, they um, a lot of the a lot of the keys to the game was both clubs uh, aggressive. You know, they stole second on us and. Martin singled them in. We we stole some bases, singled our guys in. It was uh, it was kind of good old fashioned pitching and defense, uh, National League baseball. So um, uh, you know, it was a great game. You hate to come up short, but I'm, I'm really pleased with the effort my guys gave, and and I know Joe has to feel the same about his guys. How was Stan? He was very good. Um, he did a great job. Blake got him a couple times, <clears throat> but. Um, uh, you know, that's a, as it was last night, that's a lineup that's leading the league in hitting. And uh, so, you know, it's, it's a very tough challenge, and, and he did a great job against them. He made some nice pitches. He got some ground balls when he needed, and um, we played good defense behind him.
You talk a lot about showering this one off and moving on. Is a game like this any, any harder to, to do that? Well, it certainly can be. You know, um, we really, uh, with, with the, when, when you get really good pitching out of your bullpen the way we did, uh, you, you'd like to win those close games like that. Uh, usually you do, but unfortunately both teams got good pitching from their bullpens there, and um, they were they were able to get the uh, the big out uh, in, in the uh, in the last inning, twelfth inning, whatever it was. Um, you know, when we had second and third, the, the guy made some good pitches. He got ahead in the count. That was the key. The you know it's such a little thing, but it was a huge pitch when the ball came up and in on Desmond, and he you know hits the nub of the bat for strike two, foul ball. Instead of making it a one and one count, it's now zero and two, and it becomes very tough at that point. As the game went along, how, how frustrating was it to leave so many runners out there? Well, you know, it, it is, but I I, uh, I don't know how many we left. Um, but um, it, it's, it's, it can be, I hate to use that word even, because uh, the thing that frustrate, frustrates me is if we don't play good. You know, if we don't pitch well, if we don't catch it, if we don't run the bases well, those things frustrate me. Hitting, I take as gravy when you get it. And um, certainly, I know the, the players are driven by their accomplishments at the plate, and it, it's got to hurt them. But I'm proud of them, the way they battled and, and went after it. And, um, you know, if you, play, if you play like that, if you play the way we played there, and we've played like that a lot, you're going you're to win your share of ball games. The Dodgers went through uh, seven pitchers today. Uh, Broxton threw over 50 pitches himself, the nominal closer, uh, which surely will have an impact on the bullpen tomorrow. Uh, is that something you're conscious? Is, you feel that the team is consciously working toward is working well, you, pitchers hard? You usually you you want to get the starter to throw a lot of pitches and get him out of the game. I don't I don't think Broxton threw that many. I saw that number up on the board. I don't think that was right. I don't think he threw 50 pitches. Because he he'd only thrown to a couple of hitters. Yeah, yeah, he threw a couple of hitters and and uh, said thirty some pitches up there. So I know I don't think those numbers were right. But the point of what you're saying is is right. You know, we we made him work, and um, the the main guy you want to make work is the starter, and and we did that.